Hey guys, this is David with Great Choice Audio Video. Hey, today we got an unboxing. Well, I say it's an unboxing, I'm taking it out of the box, but this is the JL Audio E110 sub. Now this, this is a phenomenal sub uh, for two purposes. You know, for, it could be a nice two channel setup and I've got some Kef uh, speakers here. Um, these are the wireless versions and this is really not a video on Kef, but this is just showing um, how you can actually use a sub musically uh, with a nice pair of speakers to really enhance uh, the low end uh, sound and how you know accurate the sub is and, and, and how it's not so boomy and, and, and things like that. But it also works well, of course, in a home theater setting as well. And you could use one, two, or multiple of these depending on the room size and the performance that you're looking for. But this is not your ordinary average sub. We do a lot of subs here and through all kinds of different systems, indoor and outdoor. So JL Audio does some really nice subs indoor. And so this is their E series and they make mini series and we'll do videos on some in the near future of their other subs. But for now, we're doing one on the E110. Now, what's also really cool about the E110, this is a 10-inch sub. Um, and it looks like your basic average ordinary sub but don't let it fool you <laughs> so uh this thing packs a lot of punch and has enormous amount of features and technology uh in this particular sub now you can get this sub in two types of finishes ash which that's what this is it's kind of a black matte finish and then for a little bit more uh, you can get high gloss black so the piano finish black. So if you really like that shiny look, uh, then that may be the, the sub for you. But they're a nice looking sub and they have multiple sizes, but this is their 10 inch. Now, take off the grill here. Now the grill has some really nice, let me show this to you. See real thick grommets, rubber pieces here that fit into these nice inlets. To show the sub and they got the nice logo there but the technology they have in this driver is unbelievable and what's inside the, the coil uh, has a high excursion um, can take an enormous amount um, <laughs> of work where it, it's and i'll have a little bit of video in this uh in this video footage showing the excursion as it's playing because obviously if i played music on my video you wouldn't uh really get all the awesome benefits of being here so <laughs> so anyway but yeah um just to give you a few specs on this thing uh you know it's 13 and a half inches by 14 and 16 inches deep weighs roughly around 65 pounds so it's, it's a good good amount of weight um and you know 1200 watts rms 1200 watts rms short peak so Lots of power for, especially those dynamic movies that, that have a lot of bass um, that, that just hit hard. Uh, it's going to help deliver that for sure. So anyone looking to add one or multiple subs and is truly serious about their bass, JL Audio is definitely, definitely one to look at, guys. So I want to get the camera and get it closer so you guys can see some of the details of some of the other features. So uh, uh, let's get into that. All right, guys, <clears throat> so here's the sub, and I've got it just temporarily. That's why you see the <laughs> wires like this. It's temporarily just plugged in because I was playing with it and, and testing it. And so as you can see, it looks like it's just a solid top, but it is not. Right here, oh, let's see if we can see that. The JL Audio. This is removable. So it just, it just has a little ma magnet, pops up. And boom, check this out. These are all the controls. They're all on the top instead of the back. Yeah, you know, most subs, you're having to get on the back and pull the sub out and try to read it. Well, guess what? It's all on the top, hidden, and you can access it from the front of the, uh, the subwoofer. So I'm not having to pull the sub out and get to the back. So just to show you guys what we got here, um, we have the power. And that allows you know to do off, on, or auto. Right here, you have the master level for volume. You have the crossover on and off. Now, what that would be, <clears throat> if you're let's say 
have this on a two channel setup uh, and you want the sub to have the, the built in crossover, let's say you want to cross over at 80 hertz, then you would have it on on right there. But let's say you have this going to a surround sound receiver and you really want the receiver to take care of the crossover. So this would go on bypass or you would turn the crossover to off. And then here's your crossover frequencies right there. So set it up at 80 or whatever that you're trying to, uh, to do. And then you have your phase 0 to 280 right there. And then right beside over here, you have your polarity, zero to 100 degrees. So um, what JL Audio recommends is wherever you place it to mess with the polarity first and then come back and phase, phase it in to, uh, to match everything up, to line everything up. So now let me spin this bad boy around and show you. Uh, JL also recommends that you leave about four inches of space between the wall and the back for ventilation. Uh, for this amplifier. So let's move it back here. All right, <laughs> here we go, get a little light on the subject. So uh, nothing too fancy here. You have your line level inputs, and then you have your, um, you know, your RCA, your uh, unbalanced uh, inputs there and outputs. So um, that's really it in power. So not a lot on the back. Um, and like I said, this is the amplifier right here and got some nice deep grooves uh, for vented ventilation. Um, so we go up, you can see the logo right there in the back, the JL Audio, and then the one E110 right there. So that's pretty cool. Even though you never see that because it's going to be towards the back. So let's just get this bad boy uh, turned around. All right, guys. So, uh, so you can see. This bad boy is really, really nice. How awesome uh, it just looks, nice and clean. How much power it has, all the different, um, you know, uh, knobs for the different settings for frequencies and crossovers, um, you know, phase, polarity, all those different things. So this is gonna be a hard sub to beat. Now again, this is not your average sub. So for really small or, or you know your lower end, I guess, uh, <laughs> rooms for, for theater, this may not be your sub. But someone wanting some serious bass, good bass, clean bass, accurate bass, and then use one or multiple of these in their room, you're really going to, to enjoy it. <laughs> so if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave me in the comments down below. Hope you guys subscribe to our videos. Really appreciate you guys. Give us a thumbs up. It's helping us out a lot. And uh, hope to see you guys in the next one. Until next time, see you guys.